hello friends welcome to my channel sql server log so today we are going to configure always encrypted uh, option uh, to encrypt columns in a table so basically always encrypted is a security measure crafted to safeguard confidential information like credit card details or national identification numbers etc it empowers users to encrypt sensitive data within client applications uh, ensuring that the encryption keys remain hidden from the database engine. This demarcates access between data owners and data managers, preventing on-premises database administrators, cloud database operators, or other highly privileged unauthorized users from viewing sensitive uh, data or information. Consequently, always encrypted instills confidence in customers to securely store their sensitive data in the cloud while minimizing the risk of data breaches caused by malicious insiders so always encrypted uses two types of keys number one column encryption keys number two column master keys so we will see how to configure it by uh, we will see in uh, SQL Server Management Studio step by step. Okay, so for example, I have connected my SSMS and I have a few database here. You, you, uh, you can see here. And uh, for example, I'll take client info. And uh, in client info, for example, I'll go to tables, uh, client details. Okay, so I will encrypt column which is available in client details table so for example uh, in client details table i have client id client name div amount client code so for example i will just select it select a star from client details now you can see i have four columns with some values and here i want to encrypt this column client code so you can see a uh, few codes are written which uh, can be seen okay and uh, you don't want you if for example if you have some sensitive data or information in any uh, column of your table and if you want to encrypt it so how will you do that okay so here we will take example of this client code column in this table to encrypt it so uh, next what I will do so you have option for example uh, this database you can right click on it you can go to task and you have option encrypt columns so if you click on it it will show you lots of tables and lots of columns because we are selecting it from database so I will not do that because I know I have to create I have to encrypt a column which is available in client details table and the column name is client code so what you can do you can right click on client code and you have uh, again the same option encrypt column so you can click on encrypt column now this always encrypted this wizard will come and you uh, on the left side you can see column selection is there you need to select a column then master key configuration you have to configure master key then in place encryption settings run settings it will show you summary what you did in previous steps and it will show you results successful or not successful or some issues so basically always encrypted is a family of industry leading data protection features that provide a separation between those who own the data and can view it and those who manages the data but should have no access like high privileged but unauthorized users so uh, we will click on next now you can see uh, you have client details table and you have column client code now you can click on this okay and this is state this is encryption type and encryption key so encryption type you have to choose just click on it you have deterministic and randomized two options are there so what is deterministic and what is randomized you can click on this i option now both are explained here 
Randomized encryption generates a different encrypted value for the same plain text each time. Randomized encryption is more secure. Similarly, deterministic uh, encryption always generates the same encrypted value for any given plain text value. And uh, using deterministic encryption allows groups filtering by equality and joining tables based on encrypted values. Okay, so uh, the details about both are given here. So it is more secure randomized. So I will choose it and encryption key it is given here. CEK underscore auto one which is new. Okay, and if you we'll click on I it will give you details column master keys. Okay, and column encryption keys details. So what I will do now I will click on next. Now you have master key configuration where select column master key auto generate column master key this option is there and select key store provider so you have Azure key vault and Windows certificate store so accordingly you can choose your option I'm here selecting Windows certificate store and select a master key source is I have current user so I will click on next now in place encryption setting no additional configuration is required click next in run setting okay so you have select how you would like to proceed generate powershell script to run later if you want to generate it you can choose this option and give details path here and other option is proceed to finish now okay so uh, here you can see this while encryption decryption is in progress write operations should not be performed on a table if write operations are performed there is a potential for data loss it is recommended to schedule this encryption decryption operation during your planned maintenance window so if you are using this if you if you are enabling or uh, uh, setting encryption on a column so you have to do it in planned maintenance window so I will click on next now you have summary of what you did source database setting then source database name create new master key so master key name is given here then you have a new encryption key encryption column client code it is given a table name encryption key name everything is given here now uh, what I will do I will click on finish it will take some time for performing this operation first two steps was uh, now third one is completed so performing encryption uh, encryption operations is passed so I will just close it and we have seen earlier this code now I will execute again so now my client code is encrypted one and my data is completely safe and secured so this is the way how to encrypt a column now we will go and see the keys okay so what I will do it is available under security and always encrypted keys I will just refresh it now you have column master key cmk underscore auto one and column encryption key ck underscore CEK underscore auto one so you have column encryption key and column master key which we have created so in this way you can encrypt your column in a table I hope you have liked the video uh, one more thing I want to tell you okay for example if you want to see the this uh, uh, master key and column encryption key so uh, we have this is you can select this select start from sys dot column encryption key and you can execute it okay I have written a query here so name is CK auto one column encryption key ID creation date and modify date similarly if you select is select start from sys dot column master key so you will get all the details here okay this is master key name creation date modify date key path 
all the details are there and for example we have I have written this query so by executing this query which is joined with uh, sys dot column sys dot table and sys dot column encryption keys okay and these three uh, tables so table name client details client code which we have used and the key name is this one encryption key and encryption type is uh, randomized and encryption algorithm we are using this one so you will get all these details by executing these queries these tables you can use and uh, you can find out exactly what uh, your uh, encryption uh, key is there key name you can find out i hope you have liked the video thank you so much